Hello everyone. Welcome to the faculty development program on FPGA implementation of digital design with Verilog HDL. Myself, Mrs. Geeta MN, Assistant Professor, Department of ECE, BBCE, Mysore. Today's session deals with the FPGA implementation of elevator interface with Verilog HDL. To begin with, Verilog code using FSM to interface elevator operation. We required a two states. So one is the wait state, another one is the move state. In order to understand the operation, let us consider a figure one that is a state diagram. We need to understand the state diagram. As I already told you, there are two states. One is the wait state and another one is the move state. When the valid input or the requested floor is pressed, then it will, that is, from the wait state, it will move into the move state. If there is any invalid input, it will stay in the wait state itself. In the move state, it's going to check whether the elevator position is equal to the requested floor. If the elevator position is equal to the requested floor, then it will come back to the wait state itself. Suppose, for example, if the elevator position is at third floor, but the requested floor is first floor, so it will service the request or acknowledge the request from third floor to first floor. And when both elevator position is equal to the requested floor, then it will come back to the wait state. It will wait until the valid input is pressed or the requested floor is pressed. Coming to the wait state. In the wait state, it continuously check for the key pressed. When no key is pressed, then the key pressed will be 1111. If 0 floor is pressed, then the key pressed will be, that is, it can be noted as ground floor or the zeroth floor. So the key pressed will be 1110. If it is a first floor, it is 1101. If it is a second floor, 1011. If it is a third floor, 0111. If any other combination of key is pressed, it is invalid and it states in the stay in the wait state only. If the requested floor is same as the current floor, then there is no need to move. There is no need to move. Otherwise, it will move into the move state or else it will remain in the wait state itself. Coming to the move state. In the move state, elevator positions are 0 to 9. That is, in the interface UV unit, we have used an IC 74 LS42. It is nothing but a 4 line to 10 line decoder in order to indicate the position of elevator. There are totally a four floors, zeroth floor, first floor, second floor and third floor. So elevator position, when it is, when the, when it is at the zeroth floor, it is zero only. When it is in the first floor, so it is three. Second floor, it is six. Third floor, it is nine. You observe that there it is a multiple. Elevator position is nothing but a multiplication. Multiples of 3, 0, 3, 6 and 9. Coming to the floor diagram. Here EP represents the elevator position, FR represents the floor request, NF represents the next floor. Start with, to start, to begin with, input key is pressed. When there is no, that is if you have not pressed any of the key, or if there is any invalid input, so it will remain in the wait state until a valid key is pressed. When the valid key is pressed, it will check for the elevator position. So, if the elevator position and the requested floor both are equal, then it will acknowledge the floor request and enters into the wait state. Suppose, if the elevator position is 
greater than the requested flow that is elevator position is at the third floor and the requested floor is first floor then it has to the elevator position has to be decremented from third floor to first floor so when the elevator position is greater than the requested flow it will be decremented by 1 and once again it is looped loop to an elevator position is equal to requested flow unless it is both are equal it will not enter into a weak state next it will check for whether the elevator position is equal to the fr if it is equal so it will acknowledge the request and it will go back to the weak state suppose if the elevator position is less compared to the requested flow for example if the requested floor is second floor and the elevator is at the ground floor or the zeroth floor then elevator position has to be incremented in order to reach the requested floor that is elevator position is incremented by one when both are equal that is elevator position and the requested flow both are equal then it will acknowledge the request and then go to the wait state for the next valid input this is about the flow chart explanation of elevator interface next we will look into the verilog coding for an elevator operation here we can observe that is In the Verilog coding, you can observe that there is a modular elevator control and we have a four input outputs. Clock is the input, elevator position, key pressed, floor requested. So input clock and key pressed is also an input. Output is the elevator position. So initially we are going to consider all the elevator position, floor request, everything as a zero zero. Since the elevator position is a four bit, we have taken 3 down to 0 and similarly there are 4 floors are there so it is 3 down to 0 all the 4 bits are made 0 0 next a very important parameter is nothing but a clock division so here we have taken a 17 bit for a clock division clock division equal to 17 decimal value it is 0 this 17 bit we have taken as a reduced clock using an wire Starting the current status, since we have only two state, wait state and the move state, the current state and the next state, we are going to initialize it as a 0, 0. Similarly, the current floor and the next floor, we have taken it as a 2-bit 0, 0 and next floor is also equal to 0, 0. Next, always at positive of the clock, we are going to divide the clock and the 16th bit of the clock we have taken it as a reduced clock that is assigned reduced clock equal to clock div of 16. Now instead of a system clock we are going to use a reduced clock. It is a delayed clock. Always set positive of the reduced clock begin current state equal to next state. Always set positive of the reduced clock begin case current state. So now we are going to consider a wait state that is bit is 0, begin, flow request is 111. When the key is pressed, so when the key is pressed, it can take any 4 of the input that is either 0th floor, it is indicated as 1110, first floor 1101, second floor 1011, third floor it is 0111. By default, the next floor equal to current floor. Next state, so when any of the key is pressed, 0th floor, 1st floor, 2nd floor or 3rd floor, it will enter into the move state, that is the next state. In the move state, that is when bit is 1, if the elevator position is equal to the requested flow, next floor into 3 is nothing but a, uh, that is the requested flow then current floor will be equal to next floor floor request is serviced or acknowledged so the bit all the bit floor request bit will become 000 the next state will be it will enter into the 
wait state and it will wait for the key to be pressed. If elevator position is less than the next floor, then the elevator position is incremented by 1 and it will move into the state 1, that is a move, move statement. Once again, it will check for the elevator position. So when both are equal, it will acknowledge the service and enter into the wait state. So for this, suppose elevator position is less than next floor. Suppose the elevator position is 1, requested floor is 3. Then elevator has to be incremented by 1 in order to reach the third floor. That is why it, it has incremented by bit 0001. Next, if the elevator position is greater than the requested floor, so that, that means elevator position is at 2 and the requested floor is at 1. Then it has to be decremented by a bit 1. After this, it will once again enter into the move state and it will check for equality. That is elevator position is equal to the requested floor. When both are equal, it will acknowledge with the resetting the red LED and then moves into the wait state. So this process will continue. Hello everyone. Welcome to the demo session of elevator interface using FPGA kit. This is the experimental setup for elevator interface which has FPGA kit, elevator interface unit and the power supply. In a FPGA kit, we are using a device XC3S350, family Spartan 3, pin package PQ208. And we are using a software Xilin IEC 10.1 version. In the elevator interface unit, the control and operation of an elevator functioning having a four floors is shown in this interface unit. A key and a corresponding red LED indicator serve as a request button and request status indicator. A row of yellow and green LEDs indicate the position of the elevator. The green LED when lit indicates that the elevator is at a floor. The servicing of a request can be indicated by clearing the request that is turning off the request indicator using flip-flops. The 4 to 10 line decoder that is sign for LS42 is used to specify the location of the elevator. When the four inputs to the decoder are sequenced through the binary codes corresponding to 0 to 9 with the time interval between transition, the elevator is seen to move. The, dual, the two dual G flip-flops are used to serve the request and output the status. A request is cleared through the clear inputs of the flip-flop. This is how the elevator interface to an FPGA works. First is to invoke the Xilin 10.1 version as shown in the icon desktop. Then move on to a file, create a new project. Give a project name as an elevator. Then press next. These are all the device parameters where you come across the family is Spartan 3, device XC3S50, package PQ208. Since the language, preferred language used is Verilog, you have selected the Verilog, then press next. Finish. At the left hand side you can observe that there is a device and the folder which is created as a elevator project then press ok now you copy the source code of elevator into a new project file 
then press the name you need to change the name to as an elevator dot v save it then right click on the device and add the source elevator dot v file open press ok now the code is added the next step is to check the syntax of the code if there is any error you can come across a red line red uh, wrong cross mark now it is showing a green tick mark that indicates that there is no error next synthesize the code using synthesis the next step is you need to enter the input output pins using pre synthesize enter the input outputs and clock pins from the data sheet clock p76 elevator position p196 p197 p191 p194 and the key pressed p183 next comes floor request p189 190 185 187 next comes the key pressed it is p183 184 181 and 182 so these are all the inputs outputs and clock required for the operation of elevator save it then press ok after that you need to implement the design press double click on implement design and this process translation mapping and place and routine will take place Next is configure the target device. So the source code is converted into bit file that you are going to upload that is uh, download into a IC that is XC3S50. Then press finish. Press finish. Right click on the device, bypass, select a bit file, open device 2 FPGA you need to select then press ok apply and ok right click on the device program you can see that program is succeeded this is an elevator interface you can observe that there are four keys red keys push buttons are there which indicates the request and four LEDs which indicates the request indicator and these are all the elevator position that is green and yellow LED indicates the elevator position suppose if we press a fourth floor you can observe that red led glows and it it is going to be switched off and the request is serve indicates that that is switching off this red led indicates that the request is serviced suppose if we once again press the second floor you can observe that the elevator position is uh, at the second floor once again if we press the first floor the elevator position is indicated with a green LED indicates that this is at the first floor. Next, this is the third floor. You can observe when I press this third floor indication, red LED will glow first indicating that there is a request from the third floor and this is serviced by indicating the position of the elevator. Thank you.